Yo, what's going on guys? Today I was gonna be showing you guys the awesomeness that is Restream IO. I've been using it for about a, a week and a half, two weeks, and I, I really see how awesome this is for, for content creators and anybody that wants to really get deep into streaming. The awesome thing about Restream IO is that you can literally get onto every single major platform at the same time. So you can use programs like OBS to just uh, get your stream running right onto Restream IO. And then from there, it would distribute it to everywhere it needs to be. So, for example, for me, what I what I stream to right now, um, I'm probably gonna change this in the future and start streaming to more platforms. I'm streaming to YouTube is my main one. I like YouTube, so I stream onto there. I also have Twitch. I have Periscope. I have uh, D Live, and um, I'm missing something. Facebook. So I also have Facebook. So um, to stream to all these platforms, um, it just makes it so easy to just use Restream IO to just go ahead and just get on there on, onto all those platforms. And you can also monitor the chat from there. Uh, this was something that I was really concerned about because I wanted to be able to interact with my, my viewers. And um, this makes it so freaking easy. Like, it's so amazing. So I'm just going to go through the website so I can show you guys what this is like here. Okay, so this is uh, how my uh, restream looks. So I have all these platforms here. I have the YouTube, I have the DLive, Periscope, Facebook, and Twitter. I mean, on Twitch. Um, <laughs> what, I, what I wanted to say about Twitter, though, you know, what's really cool is that Periscope, since Twitter owns Periscope, you can put your Periscope link into the Twitter handle and you can literally see the stream straight from there on your phone, on, on, you know, on the computer, whatever. So that's really freaking awesome because you can basically stream onto Twitch that way. I mean, uh, onto Twitter that way. Uh, so that's really badass. The cool thing about this is that once you have everything set up, you can go into titles. It makes things so easy to just like copy paste, put everything in. You see how this was my last stream. It was uh, leveling the new Titan Brute. So basically I just copy this over and copy it all onto each platform and just update the link. You can put what game you're playing. So City of Heroes, I put that in there and then boom, there you go, you're done. So you can also put your description in here which um, the thing with Restream is that it puts this one little thing here. So if you're watching, if you're using Restream for free, which you can do, um, it's gonna make it so that it's gonna have this, you know, multi-stream, you know, by Restream IO link thing. You can also do a refer link. So if, uh, so you can actually gain a little bit of uh, basically interest off of people that actually try to like, you know, sign up for Restream which uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of my referral link if you guys wouldn't mind uh, clicking on that and getting in there and you know doing your thing, I would appreciate that. But um, you can do that yourself also by going into, you see right down into the referral program is right off uh, the logout. So you go into referral program and you can put your copy of your referral link in there as well. So that's, that's pretty cool. So heading back to titles here, um, yeah, you can do all that. You can put your description so you can come in here and just copy your whole entire description of, uh, you know, all your links and all your things there. Uh, you know, paste that onto the Facebook one and you can use that as well. So that's it just makes it so easy to just update your titles and everything and what game you're playing and then just move on to actual streaming, which is what you really want to do. You don't want to waste time just sitting there setting up things. So it's really awesome how easy this is. Also, you have the option of doing social alerts, which um, I do have Twitter hooked on to here. I'm still trying to figure out how to actually get Periscope to like update the live link on there because I want to make everything automated to the point where it's like, yeah, I'm live playing City of Heroes and then there's my Periscope so that it automatically starts playing the video. That's something I'm trying to figure out. If you guys know anything about Periscope and uh, you know the answer to this, just leave a comment below. But um, yeah, that's something I'm really trying to figure out is how to get the live link every time, you know, because uh, Periscope is kind of weird. It's not the same like like the other streaming services. So you can use Restream entirely for free if you like, but the only downside with using it for free is not only is it going to put that uh, that multi-stream link thing on on your description automatically, but it's also going to make it so that when you try to stream to Facebook, you can only stream to your personal page which is something that I don't care for. I wanted to I, I wanted to stream it onto my actual, you know, my my YouTube name, my scriptures, you know, handle. 
And um, if you're trying to do it to your actual business page, then the only way to do that is to subscribe. So I landed up doing the beginner one, which is the $20 a month one. Um, or it could be, you could pay for the year if you wanted to. Um, that one works really well. I, I see no reason to update, or like upgrade to the higher things, unless you were planning to do like, I don't know, like you're a big business and you're trying to like distribute it to all these platforms and you wanted some extra stuff, then I guess it's worth looking into. But if you're just streaming video games like me, then um, you're better off just either playing, doing it for free or doing the, the actual, um, the first entry into it. Because the first entry into it lets you stream to your, your business page. The cool thing about uh, monitoring the chat, which I know is something that's very important for us streamers, is that you can actually do it off your phone. So if you just go to the website, you go to chat.restream.io, you can actually monitor your chat from your phone, which this is what I usually do. I would monitor it from my phone. I would watch the, the chat from here. And you can actually see everything from every platform, somebody talking, so you can interact with them very easily. This is what's really awesome about this so that you don't have to miss out on any conversations that are happening on each of the platforms. You can be able to monitor everything, which is just beautiful. You can also do some pretty cool stuff with the stream. You can also go into settings and then check out some of the, the extra things that you can put in there. So you can look at the appearance or what it's gonna look like when it's coming through, the size of it. You can also filter out like what type of things uh, people are saying. I don't know if you wanna have like cuss words, you know, taken off or anything. You can have your bot running, you know, so that it automatically says things. And you can also um, make it so that chat actually pops up on your screen. So you can copy the link and then you can basically put it so that it's popping up on your actual screen when they're talking, which is like, that's probably one of the coolest features I've seen because you can actually change the style of it. I put it as comic because it looks more like City of Heroes style, but look, you can change it to 8-bit. Like there's so many cool things that you can do with this. I, I really like this a lot. You can change the size. Like it's very, very easy to just be able to monitor chat and then also have the chat, you know, see when they're actually talking. That's just really cool. That's just really cool to me. So overall, I'm very impressed with Restream.io. I'm, I'm definitely subscribed to them and I'm definitely doing my streams on here from now on because the, the coolest part is just having like all the platforms going on. And you know how, how it is right now. There's a lot of competition in the gaming world where there's, you know, you don't want to be stuck on just one platform. You want to be on all of them. Unless you got some like uh, a contract with like Twitch or something, then that's a different story. Then you're probably just gonna have to stay with them. But um, it's really cool that you can be able to just go onto all the platforms because you don't have to worry about you know whether or not your viewer is more interested in watching it on Facebook or more interested in watching it on YouTube or the more popular Twitch. You know, so you have options. You can be on all these platforms, and there's like no excuse for them not to see you. You know what I mean? So that's that's what's really cool about this. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope it was helpful. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And just let me know in the comments what you think and um, and what platform that you guys usually stream on. Uh, right now, I'm like fresh into Twitch, and um, like it's the the thing that I don't really like about Twitch is that they force you to to stream at seven like like at the highest bit rate, whatever your your highest bit rate is, which mine is 720p, 60 fps. So that's the only downside with Twitch. Like that's what I'm seeing right now. You have to be a partner apparently in order to be like to have uh you know your viewers have options of like what kind of bit rate like so that's that's just kind of bothering me right now but um other than that man like it's just really cool to be on all the platforms so i don't have to ever like be like thinking like damn should i be tr streaming on twitch or should i be streaming on facebook or like there's there's no excuse anymore just stream on all of them but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, i'll see you in the next one later